hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i will briefly discuss about second topic of this chapter which is field of force in this chapter we will i will briefly discuss about two forces which is known as gravitational force which come from gravitational law fg is equal to m g m1 m2 over r square and and other force which is coulomb force which is fc is equal to k into q1 q2 and r square q1 q2 over r square so these two forces are dependent first of all gravitational force dependent on mass it exert a force on different masses and the coulomb force is a force between two charges so these two forces have their effect and magnitude and direction so the question is that what is the origin of these two forces how the these forces and from where these two, these two forces originate what is the source of these two forces we always discuss these forces but we don't think that what is the origin of these two forces so first of all we will discuss this one uh, up till now uh, the scientists have not answered this question what is the origin of these two forces and how these two forces can be uh, formed uh, like gravitational force and coulomb force between charges and between masses the other question is that what is the effect of gravitational force on mass how the gravitational force is affected or between two masses and how coulomb force is affected or present between two uh, charges so what is the vicinity the question is that what is the vicinity of these two uh, forces these two forces between the masses and charges how gravitational force and translational force or gravitational force or coulomb force transform from masses or charges this these are two questions and we will discuss the other thing is that we will make a uh, charge which is uh, a positive charge which is like a source charge and we can also name as electric charge frequently it is used it is its name is used as a source charge the dotted line shows that these lines are electric lines of forces or these are the vicinity of the electric field around the charge or around the source charge source point or source charge so these uh, dotted line shows that these are electric intensity or vicinity or electric field between uh, around this charge so in order to understand this concept we do not see these dots across or around the uh, uh, electric charge uh, in order to understand this we, we can feel these lines or we can feel these dots or with the, these in intensity or vicinity of the electric field so in order to understand this we will place a, a unit charge or point charge in in front of or in close to the or in the vicinity of this charge in order to feel this because this point charge or test charge can place uh, near this one and if we move towards it we will feel a force a force of attraction or force of repulsion maybe so uh, in this case you see that these two are positive charges so the force of repulsion will be generated so in this case when we want to move this point charge towards the source charge then it will uh, repel we will feel a force of repulsion so this point charge is very very small it cannot affect the or dist uh, or distort the electric field lines or these electric field only it can feel so it means that when we come close to the or move this point charge to the source charge then the electric field lines or this intensity or vicinity cannot be distorted only we can feel the force in the direction of electric field so the direction of electric field uh, is equal to is all similar direction of force the force has a direction in this in this rightward direction the electric field direction will be rightward direction so this force is equal to q naught into e e is the electric field and the force exerted on this unit charge is represented as f f is equal to q naught into e and this test charge has a possibility or has the ability to calculate or find out the force or to feel the force so e is equal to f 
into q this f is a force felt by this point so the electric field is a vector quantity it means that it has some direction this direction is similar to the direction of force so it is a vector quantity we can place an arrowhead or a unit vector against it so f is equal e is equal to f over q into r unit vector which is which shows the direction of this electric field furthermore i will also discuss with some example related to units and dimension of electric field so units and dimension of electric fields are very important so electric field has a units Uh, related to formula f e is equal to f over q uh, unit of force is newton and the unit of charge is coulomb it means that the the units are newton per coulomb or we will write it, rewrite it newton coulomb inverse or newton per coulomb the dimension of this one can be can also be calculated from the units of uh, newton per coulomb so the unit on dimension of newton is equal to come from kilogram meter per second square and coulomb inverse so dimension of kilogram is mass dimension of meter is length and dimension of second is time so it will be t minus 2 and coulomb minus 1 these are the dimension and the entry test you can be asked this question related to dimension because this is a confusing electric field in intensity or electric field has some dimension and units these are confusing and the entry test exam you can be asked furthermore when we place a unit charge or when we place a source charge the uh, intensity of this charge or the density of the dotted line shows that or these are directly proportional to the force so the density if the density of the dotted line is very very high then the electric field is very very high ab uh, when it radially moves outward the electric field lines or uh, we move outward the intensity decreases if we come closer to the positive or the source charge the density increases so the direction of electric field is very similar to the direction of force so these two are uh, similar direction because the when the when we feel the electric field lines or when we feel a force in some direction so the electric field will have a same direction related to force so dotted line shows that do, dots are show the density of the Uh, density of dot shows the electric field so the density is directly proportional to the electric field if density is very very high like if we if i show the arrows density is very very high then the electric field will also be high furthermore i will also discuss about their uh, further parameters related to electric field intensity and the uh, force we know the coulomb force or coulomb formula is equal to f is equal to k into q1 q2 over r square this is a coulomb force between two charges so in in this case we are dealing with charge source charge and point charge so coulomb force will be f is equal to k into q into q not over r square we we will put the value of k which is 1 over 4 pi into epsilon not into k q and q not over r square so the formula for the electric field is equal to e is equal to f over q not so we will put the value of f in this expression in order to calculate the value of uh, electric field uh, intensity so e is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q over q not q into q not over r square into 1 over q which is the formula of electric field intensity so q not can be cancel out from the q not so the final answer will be electric field intensity is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q over r square this is the final expression for the electric field so we can also refer that the electric field is a force per unit charge or force or newton per coulomb it is it has a units so this is a vector quantity and r will show this in direction directional of force so we can we, all the students should not be confused about the vector quantity and scalar quantity because force is a vector quantity electric field lines will also be a vector quantity up till now we have discussed about gravitational force uh, coulomb force and their origin how they originate and how they act on masses and charges i will we also discussed about point charge test charge and source charge we also discuss about the electric field units and dimension because 
direction is also discussed with respect to force and uh, in addition I, I have also discussed with, uh, with you related to entry test question which is dimension and up till now we have finished about the electric force or fields of force and this, this is the second topic of the second year chapter 2 and if you have any question you can write in comment box of this video if you have any question i will answer this accordingly or if you want to learn more you can contact me at my email address see you soon